Hey loves, happy July 4th weekend. It's actually Sunday the 5th. Um, My bag is here. The Dooney Buckley bag. I did order her in black. Um, Thanks again, Mo. <laughs> Mo loves um, beauty. Um, I think a lot of other people have um, reviewed the bag also. Um, I was contemplating the natural, but I looked through my wardrobe and I have a lot more things that match the black. I'm actually really happy about the bag, surprisingly. I did not know how big it would be. Um, compared to my city barlows, um, I do have some large and some medium sized city barlows. So just so you can see the difference, this is my medium city barlow bag. Um, so it is about four inches taller. It looks like I didn't measure maybe about three inches taller, the Buckley, um, than the city, uh, Dooney bag and definitely the Buckley bag is wider than the city dooney so it is a bigger bag but it's not as large as i thought it would be which is great um i did not pull out the large cities i believe it's comparable to the large city doonies um if anyone out there has them um if you go online and look up the measurements um i believe still the buckley is maybe about an inch um taller and maybe an inch wider i believe Either way, I'm happy with the bag. Um, the only thing I'm unhappy about, guys, as far as productivity or as far as um, the bag itself, maybe I didn't get a good one. I'm not sure. I thought that the bag would be smoother. So you, as you can see, the front of the bag is smooth. The side here is smooth. Nice smooth. Not too much texturing. Um, I'm not sure if anyone knows. I don't too much like pebble leather bags. I like smooth leather bags. Um... The part that concerns me is here. Everywhere else is about a smooth, but then right here looks like like a dent, like a like it's not on the other side. If you look at this side, it's smooth, right? It's it's nice and smooth. Come around here, it's nice and smooth. But then you come here and it's just very pebbly right there. And I believe um, a few years ago, I had looked up a review. Um, Dooney Addict 615 had done a review years ago on the Buckley. I believe she had the red and she had the same issue where um, part of it was pebbled, where the rest of it should have been smooth. Um, not sure if I'm going to send it back because of that, because I'm afraid I'm going to get a more pebbled one. I do like the smoothness of the bag everywhere else. Um, Otherwise, I'm, I'm very happy, surprisingly. I don't buy black bags, so I'm very surprised that I do like this bag. Um, the bottom of it does have the four feet, although I do wish that it had five feet like my City Barlows. The, the City Barlows and the Brennas um, all seem to have five feet. This is a larger bag. I would think that it would have the fifth foot here in the middle. Um, you know, a little put off by that. The other thing I like about the inside is that it's red, of course. Um, some of the or the city, um, some of the cities are cream inside or like a textured tweed. I don't like that. Most of them are red that I do have, so I like the red interior on this Buckley. It is the green suede here, which I love, and I love the smell of it. And then the rest of the bag, of course, is red inside. Um, it does have a slip pocket here on the side, which I've already. I uh, found that my phone can fit there and it has the zip and then on the other side it does have two pockets and I am um, sure some of you know that Dooney sometimes only does one slip pocket on the side but I actually like the two I'll probably put hand sanitizer and lotion and uh, keys or whatever here now as always anyone that has seen my other videos knows that I normally don't get bags without either a second or a third I usually like three sections to a purse um, again like my city bag because I can reach the phone and keys readily without having to go into the middle part of my purse I like having sections to a purse surprisingly it doesn't bother me as much on this Buckley bag what does concern me though because I know me and I'll probably never close this part all the way to me, this looks so much like a tote bag, and I'm not a tote bag carrier. I'm more like round bags. What will happen, I think, is that when I carry the bag, I won't close it all the way. 
and then this tassel will stick out so I'm not sure <laughs> I really love the bag I don't want to send it back I think I'm going to um carry it around in the house with me I'm going to put some things in it in the house carry it around the house with me I already have a couple pair of shoes um that match it um I'm a matchy girl with my shoes like I already know that <laughs> look at the gold on these on my guests um these guest shoes and I have a few shoes that have gold on it like this so I love the fact that the gold on the buckley and the stitching there um you know kind of matches the brown and the gold in a lot of my shoes so I'll definitely be carrying it around the house um not outside because in case I do take it back I don't want it to be contaminated you know with air and stuff like that but I will carry it around the house um see how I like the buckley bag as far as you know, if I can deal with the fact that it doesn't have the fifth foot on the bottom, um, the fact that it doesn't have an outside pocket, um, and the fact that this side here looks a bit pebbled as opposed to the rest of the bag. Um, okay, guys, I hope you liked the video. This was just a quick little review or look-see look to kind of let anyone else that wants some um, to know about the Buckley bag to, to obtain it. Like I said, it does look more toadish than round, but when you do pull the pull tassel, it does get rounder. I will probably not use that feature as much, um, but overall, it's a great bag. I love the tassel de details on the side, um, and for the price, wow, you can't beat it. It was on sale, and um, if you go on the uh, Dooney, the actual Dooneyberg website, um, they do still have, I believe it's either three or four payments if you want to do it that way to get the bag. The sale, I believe, does end tomorrow the 5th. Guys, have a great rest of your holiday weekend. Talk soon. Have a great day. Bye.